Hi beauties, welcome back. I'm on like my third video tonight. It's like 11 o'clock. We're muscling through, getting things done. Today, I'm really excited because HipDot, I really like as a company. I don't order a lot from them because I, even though they've got stuff at Ulta now, I feel like I just, I, I just instinctively go to their website to order stuff. I don't know why. But right before my birthday, they released a Hello Kitty collection and I sent it to Nikki and I was like, I freaking want this. And Nikki, who's amazing, decorated the house for my birthday. Uh, he got me 27 presents for my 27th birthday. He did so much. It was really, really sweet. My theme was Hello Kitty because I love Hello Kitty. So obviously that was one of the things that he got me was the Hello Kitty bundle. I was super jazzed about it. Um, and so I opened this up on my birthday. I wish I had saved the packaging. I did not, I threw it away. Um, but I only say I wish I had saved the packaging because it came in this really cute little pink envelope, kind of looked like an Ipsy envelope. And then right after my birthday, they released their Reese's collection. And I said, shit, I gotta buy that too. So I bought that one for myself as like a little late birthday present. And it showed up in this, in a gold package thing. And that's why I said, as soon as I saw this, I was like, wow, I wish I'd saved the Hello Kitty one so you guys could see like, when they packaged it, they like really packaged it for the theme. And I kind of I kind of love that. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull out, I, I literally, I've had this envelope for a couple days, haven't opened it up yet because I wanted to do it on camera. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out. Um, and we're gonna start with the Hello Kitty collection that I've already looked at, and then we'll unbox the, uh, the Reese's collection together. The one thing I will say about the Reese's collection, I've seen people talk about on the internet, ton of wasted packaging, unfortunately. Um, they did it for like the aesthetic and I, I get why. Like these are their little lip glosses. They come in like a Reese's Pieces pouch, but like there's just unfortunately no way to save this. Um, I've really thought about, like I don't like keeping excess like stuff because I have so much makeup. I feel like anything that's gonna take up room, but I feel like that's also part of like their, it, like part of the whole collection was like the fact that they packaged it to look like Reese's and I don't think that there's really a way to like save it. So that's unfortunate. And I do kind of hate to see waste like that. It just seems unnecessary, but what are you gonna do? I didn't design it, but. Okay, so the Hello Kitty collection, both collections in their total, I believe were $74, I think that sounds right. They were the same price. I found uh, for the Reese's collection, I found like a 15% off coupon. I think I signed up for like text messages or something, I don't know. So I got 15% off. It wound up being like right around $69 or something like that. I don't know, with like tax and everything. I don't I don't remember. It was like, it was like six, between 60 and $70 or something like that. Hello Kitty, obviously we've got Hello Kitty. I left the white paper in so you guys could see on camera, but this is Hello Kitty bag. Freaking love it, love it. Um, it came with stickers which uh, I also love, but I'll never use because I've talked about it before. I like don't know. I have like an anxiety when it comes to like finding permanent placement for stickers. So I just save them on the sheet forever. It also came with a super adorable little heart shaped Hello Kitty sponge. And I'm not gonna lie, they released their Peeps collection right before Easter. I thought about getting that. My favorite thing was the Peeps, uh, the Peep shaped uh, sponge set that they released. It came with four of them. And I almost bought it at Ulta cause it was on sale. And then people kept commenting in the reviews and saying that they couldn't really see the face on it. And that was like the whole thing. Otherwise it just looked like a sponge. And I was like, oh, that sucks. So I was a little worried about this one when I first saw it, but you can see Hello Kitty's face clearly. I don't think you can see it on camera, but you definitely can see it like holding it up close. It says Hello Kitty San Reno. Uh, and it's got a little Hello Kitty face on it and it's heart shaped. And it's a very nice feeling sponge. Like definitely has that nice kind of like squishy, feel to it without feeling too hard or too squishy at the same time. You guys know what I'm talking about. Next thing we got uh, came with two little duo sets. So one is a lip gloss duo and you've got a nice little peach shade and I'm gonna put it on next to my matte lipstick, which is gorgeous by the way, from my, um, my Glow Addict. So we've got the peach shade on one side. I'm gonna do the pink shade on the other side. These are both lip glosses. I'm not a huge fan of lip glosses. I really kind of wish they were more like matte lipsticks, but you know, I do kind of get it for the collection. It does, Hello Kitty seems like maybe more of a lip gloss thing. Like, I don't know, just like, I feel like it would be more on brand for that. So I kind of get it, but there's your pink obviously. And there is the peach. The peach actually matches the one from my Glow Addict, which is in the center and is matte very nicely. So I feel like actually uh, I could wear those very uh, easily together and it would make a really pretty little lip combo but uh, good size on them. And I really do like the little duo packaging. I think it's cute. I think it's a good way to keep from wasting like excess packaging, kind of like what I was talking about with the, with the other mans. So this is a mascara and eyeliner duo. 
I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how the hell that's gonna work because the, uh, <laughs> it's a really, it's, it's a thick, oh God. It's a thick boy. So I feel like doing an eyeliner with the thick, okay. So that's the mascara wand. It's kind of a weird wand. I'm definitely gonna have to, I feel like there's a lot of excess on it. It's definitely something I'm gonna have to test out to see if I'm gonna like it or not. Um, and then, yeah, see, I just feel like this is gonna be really hard to like work with. It just feels, I don't know. Maybe it'll be easier because it's like thicker. It'll be more like working with like, you know when in, in kindergarten when they gave you the fat pencils? Because they were like trying to get you to learn how to use a pencil. And I feel like it was so much more awkward than just handing us a normal pencil and just being like, this is what you're gonna write with for the rest of your life until you die. But no, whatever, anyway. Okay, uh, really nice payoff on that. Uh, I do feel like it's gonna be one that's gonna smudge easily though. Obviously, just one little simple black line. Had a lot of liquid on the tip of it. Seemed like it did okay, but also um, when it comes time to like, drawing on my hand is one thing when it comes time to like making like winged eyeliners trying to match, um, it may cause me to have a nervous breakdown. So we'll see. The final piece of this collection that I was obviously the most drawn to, because you guys know eyeshadow palettes are my weakness, uh, was the eyeshadow palette. It is absolutely effing precious. I love everything about it. Hello Kitty bodies and Hello Kitty faces are either stamped on all, of, I love them. Love the colors, love everything about it. Brilliant, love the collection. Super cute, very excited to, to test it out. Um, I think the easiest way to do it would just be to be like, oh, I'm gonna do a video on the Hello Kitty collection. I'm gonna do a separate video on the Reese's collection. Let's move on. I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen in person any of these, obviously, as this is bundled nicely. So I'm just as excited as you guys are to see what they actually look like in person. But I'm not gonna lie, um, I opened up my email. I was at work. I think they said like, hey, we're doing a Reese's collection. And I was like, you're doing what? So I got home, I opened up uh, the email, looked at the collection and realized immediately that I actually liked the colors more in this collection than I did even in the Hello Kitty collection and I had to buy it right then and there. Not proud of it, but it happened. So what are you gonna do? First things first, we'll look at the bag. The bag is much larger than I thought. And I swear to God, it smells like, you know when you would go to a fair and you'd play and you'd win a prize and it would be like one of the blow up prizes and you would take it out of the packaging and that smell of like synthetic, pla like hot synthetic plastic, that's what it is. This is what it, it smells like the giant blow up alien I got at uh, the one, it used to be a country music concert that they did here with air, hot air balloons every year. We went almost every year. I got a giant alien thing. You blew him up. He smelled like this. I miss him. I'm gonna order a blow up alien off Amazon. Put it on Alexa order, you're my Alexa. Alexa order, giant blow up alien. You got fingers? <laughs> but anyway, smell this. Tell me I'm not, tell me I'm lying. Exactly. That's the scent, right? Okay. <laughs> 100, 120%. You know exactly what that smells like, but okay, all right. <laughs> This is what Nikki was like, that just hit me with like a wave of nostalgia. And I was like, that's, ex when I opened up the tinfoil box, like the package, it came in, I smelled it and I was like trying to place where I remember the smell from. And that is what it is, that's what it is. Anyway, it's not a good smell, but it is kind of a good smell because it just gives me good memory. So yeah, moving on, moving on. So this collection came with two eyeshadow palettes. Each one had six colors, two lips, lipsticks actually, and then two brushes. So I'm actually gonna start off with the brushes because I think I'm gonna try and save the packaging for this um, because it would be a little easier, I think, to keep it. So I ripped almost all the way off, but didn't fully rip it off. Oh, they're double-sided. I didn't even realize that, cute. So uh, very much Reese's colors, obviously. Uh, we've got like a big kind of like fluffy brush, a more tapered brush, and then you've got two like little blending brushes. This would be more like a crease blending and this would be kind of more of like a buffing brush, I'd say. So um, really you get a nice ability to do some work with these brushes, um, which is a pretty, it's pretty impressive when you can do that with only two brushes. I just, I wanna save the packaging because they're so cute. Like, do you see how cute they are? Like they're just, they're precious, but I just don't know how to do it practically. Like I feel like for storage purposes, I'm just gonna have to be like, I just gotta throw you away. Sorry, baby. Oh, they're paper. I wonder if that was a choice or if they're like recycled. Like I wonder if it was a choice to be like, oh, we're gonna make them like paper. I don't know. I would have rather you given me a plastic cartridge for my lipstick than and not sent me this. I'm just gonna be honest. First color, gorgeous. Oh, there's like a metal shaving on it. All right, well, I'm not gonna swatch that because I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with about that yet. I don't know like if I'm gonna just wipe it off. I don't know, I don't know. 
There's like a little something on this one, but it doesn't look metal. The other one looks straight up like metal. Um, this one is the lighter shade and this is a pretty color. Uh, I like it a lot. I don't know what I was expecting texture wise, but it wasn't that. Like, okay, that's what it is. It looks more like the lip gloss than a lipstick. Do you see that? I'm not sure I'm liking the lipsticks. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not, I'm not feeling this. Ah, the metal didn't help. The eyeshadow palettes obviously were definitely what drew me in with these gorgeous shades. So this is the um, white chocolate peanut butter. Just beautiful. Just, I, I there's not much to say about this. Abs do you see it, babe? Absolutely beautiful. Lots of great neutral colors, gorgeous glitter shades. Just, yes, it's absolutely brilliant in terms of design of, of really giving you an aesthetic that looks kind of like what a Reese's would look like. Um, and then the next one is the milk chocolate. And this one is much darker, but still very, very usable, really gorgeous shades, a good mix of matte and glitter. Absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm excited about the Reese's collection. I'm a little sad about the lipsticks. I'm not sure what to do about those. Definitely am not happy with the fact that it looks like there's a very large piece of metal in the one. And I just don't love, like, I just don't love how this turned out. Maybe it'll look better on the lips, but it just, I don't know. Anyway, I'm excited to test these out in full. Um, Hip Dot definitely has been coming out with a lot of creative collaborations recently, and I'm a big fan of that. Um, I'm honestly very persuaded when you <laughs> throw me stuff like, look Reese's, look Hello Kitty, things that like give me hardcore nostalgia. And I'm like, oh, it's also makeup, let me buy that. So yeah, I'm excited to test them out and see how the makeup actually plays out. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of the collection. Which ones did you like better? Did you like Hello Kitty better? Did you like Reese's better? Did you pick up any of them? Um, and other than that, if you like the video, maybe give it a thumbs up because it helps us. If you haven't subscribed, do so because we'd love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.